All right, how are you doing today? Doing good? I hope so. It's Friday as I'm recording this. Boyce just got on the bus. And now I'm heading to get a workout in. And what do we got today? Oh, yesterday's leg day. Let's talk about yesterday's leg day. And that was that was good. Uh, legs are sore this morning. Even sore yesterday. Had front squats, deadlifts, deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, calves. And then it's a forearm workout too uh, to finish the day out. And some things are starting to click for sure with, with my squats, uh, with my ankle mobility. We're getting some good stretching in. Uh, well, I sent the videos in the coach and, and we'll see how what, what he says. Uh, but I didn't use anything to elevate my heels yesterday. It's first time with squats, that any kind of squat where I didn't elevate my heels. And and so I was still able, looking at the recordings, knee over knees over toes. And so let's see what my coach says on uh, the progression of it and if it was good. And trying to keep my form throughout. I know the first half of my reps uh, are, seem to be all right. And as towards the end, my form's breaking down a little bit, getting f fatigued. Form, it's kind of like on you know, a front squat, leaning forward too much, like my arms coming down. And so different things I got to work on uh, to improve all the way through. But all in all, I think it was was pretty good. I uh, slowed my Romanian deadlifts, the eccentric down a little bit. And we'll see if that is at the right tempo if we need to go even slower. It's funny, when you're doing the exercise, you think that you're doing it at a good slow tempo. Uh, but that's one of the val values and benefits of, of recording your, your sets, then you can look back at it and see what you're not necessarily feeling. Because, hey, I think I'm going slow, but then I'm watching, like, ah, I think I can go slower. That's how I realized that after the first week of doing the Romanian deadlifts, watching the video, that, man, I'm going pretty quick on these. And so yesterday, I made a point of going slower, watched the video, definitely slower, but I'm wondering, could I, should I go a little bit slower? We'll see what coach says. Uh, but good leg day, uh, and so Monday is another leg day, so I have a couple days rest, at least for my legs. Uh, I'm working out today, I'll work out tomorrow too. Uh, today is upper body, and we're gonna start off with overhead press, or military press, standing military press. Then I'm gonna do overhead tricep extensions with the, the barbell. Uh, then I also got, oh crap, what else did I got there? Shoot, I looked at it this morning as well. I got a single arm dumbbell snatches. I also have a bicep curls and there is one other, oh yeah, a cable face pulls. And which I kind of like those cable face pulls and with the rope uh, work in the back, upper rear delts and upper back. Uh, I, I like that. So five different exercises, four sets each. Uh, rep range of between 15 to 20 is what we're focusing in on. And going to push it and like those overhead presses uh, you know it's up and it just you know it feels good I don't have any shoulder issues one of the things I know is that instead of my arms completely wide I got to move my elbows in a little bit and one of the changes I've made uh, for it and that feels much much better uh, work wise being Friday uh, we have a loan officer that uh, or my business partner uh, he was at a uh, an event for our company as a whole and uh, kind of a recruiting event and so we have some more from that that are interested in working for us uh, which is pretty sweet and so we'll take those next steps is one of the things that's also interesting is an opportunity of doing sub branches underneath our branch is because of all the support and the things that we do people want to kind of maintain some of their own autonomy with certain things but they want to tap into our resources, our operations, the different things that we do. And so in order to do that, we'd have to create a sub-branch model at which we're thinking how to do it, how to be profitable, worth our time, and something that we can do on scale. Because if it's not something we can do on scale, it's likely not something that we would have interest in, in doing. Uh, not really too interested in doing too many one-offs. Those one-offs typically don't really 
really worked well. We tried, we've tried so many times giving people one-off opportunities and such, and it just continues to not work. They say things and they just don't follow through, and it is what it is. And sometimes you have to touch the stove, you know, to get, get you burned, and <laughs> and us sometimes we touch it a few times. But we like to give people opportunities. That's what's that's what a big motivation of ours. Is, is is the joy of helping people and I have a loan officer yesterday is he uh, got an appointment with a big producing agent over 80 buyer sides per year now for that's huge and and so it's a huge opportunity for him how did he get that appointment through cold calling through cold call prospecting and then he he got that through the, the ways that we talk about our prospecting he got the meeting and then he approached the meeting with our methodology of RVA, rapport value ask, you know, really probing, asking questions to find out their pain points and things that they're trying to accomplish. And lo and behold, it sounds like he's gonna get an opportunity to earn their business, to get their business. And in addition to it, is this particular agent has over a thousand past clients that we can get in our new software that's gonna help them know who in their database with over over 70 percent likelihood is going to be selling their house in the next six or so months and that's a huge opportunity for that realtor uh, to get more listings more business which in turn will be more business for us and so following the system and our system works and what we do works now it's not the only way to go about your business but it works all right that's all i have for you today i'm at the gym have yourself a great day